Why do you want to start an online business? Is it for the freedom of being your own boss or is there a bigger picture you have in mind? Welcome to Overthinker Apparel, we're a family-run online clothing brand that creates cute, uplifting sweatshirts right from our apartment. Our primary goal is to encourage you to be brave, be imperfect, and just be you. That's why our channel is all about sharing the ups and downs of our journey as small business owners with no filters. If you caught a previous viral video about our early days, you know we started from scratch. We hit some bumps along the way and learned plenty the hard way. But on a brighter note, our new beer can glasses, they've become a big hit in our online store. So join me as I pack some of your orders and share my thoughts on starting an online business today. A big shout out to Doc Store Domains for sponsoring this video. Is there anyone else out there who are kind of like me, maybe not super school in business and marketing, but just can't help getting pulled into a good entrepreneurial story? I swear, I could spend hours just soaking up tips and experiences from people who's been there, done that. There's this one book, you might have heard of it, Building a Story Brand by Donna Miller. It's been kind of like a blueprint for me while navigating my online store journey. One line from it has been literally echoing in my head ever since. If you confuse, you lose. It's so true, right? Clarity it's everything. Take a simple walk into the store. Those clear signs like check out here or new arrivals just make life easier. No fuss, no confusion. It's the same with online stores. Honestly, it's business 101. Have multiple call to actions on your site. Something obvious like buy now or sign up here. We all want a bit of direction. No one likes playing the guessing game all the time. Now, imagine walking around a new mall and none of the stores have signs. That'd be super confusing, right? That's why businesses have those clear names out front. Whether it's a bakery, a hair salon, or a cafe. They're telling you straight up, hey, this is what we do. It all boils down to this simple rule. If you confuse, you lose. Now, think about the online world. Ever stumble on websites ending in .com, .net, .page, or .co? With these generic domain names, it's a guessing game. They could be about anything. Videos, blogs, portfolios, you name it. If you're left scratching your head, imagine how your customers feel. So let's ask the million dollar question. When people see your website, how do you make it crystal clear that it's an online store? This is where dot store domain comes in. It's like putting a huge neon sign that screams, this is a store, buy here. No confusion, no lengthy intro. When people see a link that ends in dot store, they instantly know it's an online store. Simple as that. Data has shown that websites ending in dot store perform better. We're talking about two times more impressions, 1% times more clicks, and a 12% lower customer acquisition cost compared to a typical .com for selling online. It's no wonder YouTube superstar Mr. Beast made the move to a doc store domain for his merge. In a recent video with over 145 million views, he couldn't stop raving about how thrilled he is with his new doc store domain. Why? It's straightforward and eliminates all confusion. His old .com? Way too long and ambiguous. But his new doc store domain? It's a game changer letting people instantly know they're heading to an online store. And Mr. Beast isn't alone in this. Following in the footsteps of creators like him, over a million sellers have also switched to dark store domains. Big names like Rihanna, Michelle Obama, Zach King, Discord, and even Emirates Airlines are embracing this trend and not looking back. I have also gone ahead and secured my own dark store domain, which I'm using to redirect my online store. I really wish I had known about this when I first started selling online. You can grab your own dog store domain for an insanely low 99 cents for the first year. Just use my special coupon code OASTORE at www.get.store. And just like that, without saying a word, everyone will know you've got an online store. Alright y'all, let's talk money. Because if you're like me, you have those what the heck happened to my paycheck moments. Trust me, the level of chaos at tax season is something no small business owner should go through. So here's the deal. You've got to be on top of your cash flow. I swear by Google Sheets, but if spreadsheets aren't your thing, no worries. There are other user-friendly platforms like QuickBooks to help you stay in the know. A quick warning though, if this is your first time deep diving into your finances, be prepared for some surprises. But hey, just by taking this step, you're already winning. As your online store scales up, consider bringing a bookkeeper on board to keep everything tax compliant. And seriously, find a trusted accountant or better yet, a CPA. Think of them as your financial besties, helping you navigate tax benefits you didn't even know were on the table. Don't go asking random internet strangers whether you should set up an LLC. Everyone's situation is different. Also, one quick pro tip, open a separate bank account for your business to keep your personal expenses separate from business 
business ones. It was one of the first pieces of advice my CPA gave me, and it's been a game changer. And remember, for any specific questions, consult a licensed professional. They went to school for this complicated stuff, so put that expertise to good use. As your online store evolves, you'll be chatting with them more often too about things like payroll and retirement plans. Consider this your wake-up call to get your finances in check. Owning a business isn't just about selling. It's also your job to make sure your business is financially healthy. It might not be the most fun part of being a small business owner, but it's the backbone. We all have this wish, right? A step-by-step -step guide to avoid learning things the hard way. Yet, there isn't always a one-size-fits-all answer. What's magic for one person might be meh for another. It's all about knowing your goals, researching, and making informed decisions. Many are caught between choosing Shopify or Etsy when starting out. I totally get it. I've been there. Rather than directing you to one, I'd like to share my journey. At first glance, Etsy seems like the perfect starting point for beginners. You put up your products, pay 20 cents, per listing and boom you're selling plus they handle taxing headaches pretty neat right but when you dig deeper and you're reselling something like embroidered clothes you're up against serious competition even with Etsy's traffic you can't just list and relax boosting your brand through social media or ads is often needed especially early on and the fees they can pile up plus there are stories of stores being suddenly shut down imagine your shop goes viral but then Etsy puts brakes on your momentum until you handle the order influx I don't like that. That's why I gravitated towards Shopify. Equally beginner friendly, but it offers more design freedom. Here's the cash of Shopify. You're the one driving the traffic. Unlike Etsy, there's no built-in audience. And in terms of cost, it sits around $40 a month. I chose their annual plan, viewing it as an investment in overthinker apparel. So the bottom line, both Etsy and Shopify have their merits. Instead of diving into the which is better rabbit hole, reflect on your online store's vision. Is it convenience or or more control you're after. Let your goals guide you. Lastly, no matter if it's Etsy, Shopify, or other site builders like Wix, you can snag a doc store domain to make your business stand out. You can also get one straight from any domain registrars like GoDaddy or Namecheap. And since you're watching this video, you get to have your doc store domain for 99 cents for the first year. Visit www.get.store today and use my special code OASTORE to claim. Your future customers are gonna love it and so will you. We all have dreams of our small businesses taking off in the big way. I always find myself inspired when I see other businesses go viral. It kind of makes me think, hey, why not me? But let's get real for a second. Are we really prepared for that kind of rush? Going viral can mean a drastic increase in your sales volume in a very short time. So what can we do to prepare? Inventory and supplies. Do you have a good stock of packing materials like thank you cards and poly mailers? And most importantly, do you know where to get more in a hurry and how long do take to arrive efficiency how long does it take to pack a single order are there steps you can take to make the process faster while still maintaining quality mental preparedness a sudden boom in business is exciting but it can be overwhelming are you mentally ready for it do you have support like your family or friends to help you out workspace having a well-organized packing station isn't just for aesthetics it can seriously help an order start piling up additionally get familiar with the e-commerce tools that can help streamline the business. I refer to them as my silent network. Tools like ShipStation can expedite your shipping. Mr. Print is great for branding essentials. MailChimp is great for email marketing. And Suna helps in getting quality photos and videos for your products. Oh, and here's a golden nugget for you. With a doc store domain, you can access up to $2,500 in discounts on these essential tools. Just use my special code OASTORE at www.get store and you can get your own doc store domain for just 99 cents and cash in on those savings it's like a vip pass to the best resources in online selling remember it's all about thinking ahead and being prepared and having a few good tools at your fingertips can make a world of difference when I first started out, all I wanted was to not be broke, for real. I just quit this so second 9 to 5 and I was living solo in a city where I knew nobody. I was so broke, I couldn't even treat myself to trip fil I had to borrow money from my little sister, who's in college by the way, just to pay rent. So yeah, the struggle was real. I was against the clock. I had a month to make this work with face not being able to pay my bills. Fast forward a couple weeks and my business blew up in the best way possible. We were selling out on launch days 
first moved to a bigger apartment and I was even able to hire my mom. It felt like a dream come true. But then, I hit something I never saw coming. I started to feel super lost and empty. I hit my goal of not being broke and suddenly, I was like, what now? That's when I stumbled upon this quote from Stephen Covey. Satisfy needs do not motivate. And everything just clicked. My motivation went MIA because my initial don't be broke need was satisfied. Lesson learned. Having one goal is not enough. So, if you're ambitious and itching to start your own online store, here's my advice. Sit down with yourself and get real. What's your end game here? Make a 5 year plan, not just a make it through the month plan. I was dreaming too small and once I checked that off, I was kinda stuck. Now, I've got bigger goals and I'm pumped to get to work every day. So learn from me. Dream so big that people call you delusional. Believe in yourself and never ever underestimate what you're capable of. Back to the initial questions. Why do you want to start your online business and what's your vision for the next 5 to 10 years? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you.